you do it, I do it, we all do it. We all need to do it. We don't need to hold it in. Ever, never, never, never. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. What's going on? It's Kay. Welcome to my channel. The name of my channel is just K1. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. It's Saturday. Uh, I'm coming to you with some information. Uh, this is the, the, the vlog that's going to give and keep on giving. Uh, I wanted to speak with you all regarding... I'm left over a little protein shake protein tea from top tier nutrition in Hammond on Ridge Road check them out y'all anyway today I want to talk to you about something that's fairly uh, uh, it can be embarrassing it could be humili humiliating it could be a headache it could be just like you're just like or one of these I want to talk to you about which we all do it from time to time it's healthy we should be doing it you should never hold it in I think you know where I'm going with this <laughs> I want to talk to you about the fart and farting okay let me get right to it I noticed that yes I said farting yes coming out your ass out your butt whatever Anyway, I just noticed that over the last two years, like when the pandemic started, um, I just noticed that during those two years and even now, I'm, I still kind of eat kind of the same. I've been, I eat majority of the week, I eat salads, salads with chicken, vegetables in them. That's basically what I eat almost every day. Um, in the morning, I basically have lemon water, coffee. Excuse me, or tea. Okay. Um, for lunch, I have a salad. And then for dinner, a lot of times I have chicken or fish. I have either salmon or I'll have chicken with something or I'll have... Um, sometimes I may do the TV dinners, the frozen dinners. Um, and then I'll switch those out since we're going back on this um, different type of schedule at work. Uh, some of the days I may have um, Swedish meatball by Stouffer's or lasagna TV dinner or the other one with the pasta. And I do still eat pasta. On the weekends, I don't restrict myself to anything. I eat what I want. Not that I pig out, but I do tend to have sharks or harrows or um, catfish or pizza or whatever. I eat what I want on the weekends. I still drink the water, but I've been told I don't drink enough, which I'm trying to increase. And um, during the week, I, I have smoothies sometimes. Because sometimes when my stomach gets kind of off, I'll cut out everything and just do smoothies. Because it's almost like my stomach has to get back regulated. That comes from like too much coffee or coffee type drinks. Uh, a lot of fast food. And then my stomach will start feeling like, not nauseous, but like uneasy. And every time if I go up to the nutrition store and get like a protein shake or the protein tea, that sets me right back in unison. So, um... I, I just noticed, and I've been doing this like the last two years. I kind of have the same type of eating habits or whatever. I, I do admit, y'all know I still be having my late night chocolate or my late my late night ice cream nights. I haven't had any lately. I've had, I think during the past week, I may have had ice cream maybe twice. One, I did have a bar, something on a stick. And the other time I did eat out the cart. But I think I only did it twice this week. Um, I'm trying to make myself a goal that 
every night, you know, the couch is my friend and I love it and I like to lay on it and fall asleep. I want to make myself a goal that after I watch the news or at least by 1130 that I'm in the bed. Uh, I want to try to get myself in tune with that. Uh, ain't been no damn exercise. Uh, there's been exercise of walking because I've been getting my steps and all that. But as far as cardio and working out with Joe and uh, virtual Bella B Fitness or any type of fitness at the gym, at the park. I ain't been doing it. I've been walking. That's what I've been doing. So I need to get myself back in tune with that and get a schedule regulated on. I want to get back to my intermittent fasting routine, but I have to have the mass set. And right now I don't have the mass set. Until I have the mass set, it's not going to work because it's going to be me saying I'm doing it and I ain't really doing it. So anyway, I just noticed within the last two years, that's just to give you a little background. In the last two years, um, I noticed my um the way food in my body reacts to it changed and um i went to the doctor what two weeks ago for my annual my women's appointment and i i, I kept saying before i went i was going to ask my doctor what does it come from whatever i had already looked up information on what i think it was or what google says it was or whatever so i asked her i said uh dr aurora um I have a question because she was like, any questions? I said, I have a question about gas. I said, I noticed that like the last two years, it's like you have gas. You're supposed to have gas. You're supposed to fart. You're supposed to release. But she told me that as you get older, your body and your colon and your intestines down there and then opening that, knowing your 20s, it's tight. And even though you eat a lot of junk food and everything or whatever, and I do have regular movement. So that's not a problem. I don't, I'm not constipated. But she said that as you get older, the muscle loosens up. So the air, like in the past, you did fart and it came out. And, you know, but as you get older, things get loosened up, you know, and more of what you eat, your body has reaction to. So like when you're 20-something, you eat cheeseburgers, Burger King, everything, else. you you will get constipated. You will have probably diarrhea or you will have to get you some Tums or whatever. And you still have a bowel movement or whatever. But as you get old, and it probably doesn't bother you that much. And you don't care about damn far either. But as you get older, when you're trying to eat right and do right, and even still, like things like chocolate, different things, we don't talk about it, different things, it will affect your internal system and that will cause you to have gas. Now, you're supposed to have gas. The worst thing you can do is not let it out. The worst. Do, do not go there to not, do not hold it, hold it in and all. You're, help, you're hurting your own system. Don't do that. So... She told me, um, you're supposed to have gas, blah, blah, blah. But as you get older, you're going to have it more. And I just said, I said, Dr. Roy, it's so embarrassing. And I know of a friend that was, it was happening to her. And sometimes it smells and sometimes it don't. Um, you know, um, so I don't, you know, but I know different food types set it off. And as you get older in your late forties or fifties, your body's going to change. I mean, we talk, to, I talk about this all the time that as you get older, your body changes to different things and things you used to do, maybe you were 20 or 30 your body to have reaction but when you get 40s and 50s it has reaction immediately so farting is one of those things so what is farting okay y'all know i'm looking at my notes google said a fart is an emission of gas from the anus well you know that's what it is it comes out to as fart <laughs> so that's what that's what a, a fart is um also I'm looking at y'all while I'm trying to read my notes. Uh, also, farting f farting um, is meant to release pressure to of unwanted gases from your body. Pressure of unwanted gases. Think of the science project, unwanted gases. When you fart, um, when you try to keep your fart in, it can irritate your colon and trigger hemorrhoids. You don't want to do that. That's why I was telling you, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Everybody farts. Farting is okay. Nobody wants to talk about it. I'm sure they don't. I'm sure they don't. But everybody farts, whether it's silent, loud, or whatever, stinky or not. Um, you produce about 500 to 1,500 milliliters of gas per day out of your body. Out your body. 99% of it does not smell. The average person farts 14 times a day or more. So that equals 5,110 farts a year. <laughs> I don't think nobody counting them. 
I really don't. <laughs> I don't think nobody counting them, y'all. So, with that, the comment causes of farting. Because remember, you're supposed to do it, so it is healthy. But the comment causes of farting um, that makes you fart more. Swallowing air. Chewing gum. Smoking. Um, loose dentures. I don't have dentures yet. Hot or cold hot or cold drinks. They do something to your internal. Foods containing high amounts of un, unobservable carbs like beans, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, unrefined cereal fiber, so, unrefined cereal fiber, such as bran. Sometimes medicine can do it and medication. Um, anti inflammatory things can do it. Laxatives, of course. You know laxatives can do it. Um so it's a, it's a variety of things that can make you, that can have you fart. I mean, like, it, it is your diet. It all depends on your diet. Um, also, there's treatment. Avoid foods that cause gas. Drink before meals. Well, most of the time we drink with meals. You know, we drink, we have the drink with us while we're eating. So that's going to be kind of hard to stop. Drink before meals. If you drink with meals, you lose stomach acids and then your system cannot break down food. So when you drink with the meal, you're losing the acid. So then, of course, you're going to get the gas. Chew your food thoroughly. Avoid smoking. Avoid, avoid soda and carbonated drinks. Drink through straws. Watch out for artificial sweeteners. And take a walk after you eat. Now that's a good that's a good idea. Um, like if you eat a meal, take a walk after. You don't always have to take a walk outside. You walk around the house, you do them stairs or something. But walk it down. How they say walk it down, walk it out, walk it out. <laughs> um, like I said, it, it, if you notice, it all depends on your diet. It's all connected back to your diet. And I'm sure it's not. It affects different people different ways. Because if you're 20 something, it may affect you one way. If you're 40 something or 50 something, it's different ways. Also. Why do we fart more as we are getting older? And we talked about that. You have a lack of digestive enzymes. As you get older, your body makes less lactose. Now, my doctor told me that too. As you get older, your, your body makes, it creates less lactose. The enzyme needed to digest dairy products. So, you know how people are lactose intolerant or whatever. That has a lot to do with it. Um, you have a slower digestive system. As you get older, your digestive system slows down. It's slower. So as you see, everything everything is kind of connected to food and drink. What you put in your body. What you put in your mouth. What you put in your body. Okay. I found a lady on YouTube. Her name was Kim D D E O N Dion. She's a, a nutritionist. She's her her thing about it. Her take on it for farting. She said uh, when you eat too much meat and too much meat can have you feeling. Um, too much meat can have you farting. Meat is hard to digest. So I think that's true because I don't have Burger King often, like maybe out of three months, I may have Burger King one time if I do. Um, and not because of farting or anything like that, but I noticed that when I do have a burger, whether it's a Burger King or whatever, a restaurant burger, it takes longer for me to go to the bathroom. So it goes, it goes in your system and it takes a long time to digest. So that's what she's saying on here. And that's not a normal thing that I eat. I don't eat burgers really that much anymore. It's every now and then. Eliminate some foods for a while to, from your diet or your food plan. We don't like to say diet. Eliminate some foods for a while from your food plan to see if there's a change. Keep a food diary. So take five days. Write down everything you eat and drink. Whether it's healthy or not. Five days. Write it down. And then see how your body reacts. And then the next week, some of the things we talked about with the food items either pull back or eliminate. You may, you probably can't eliminate all the way out, but pull them back some and see if there is a difference. But incorporate that water in there a lot too. That's what I would do. You know, take the walk after dinner or whatever. Um, fruit digests quicker than any other food. So when you eat fruit, it goes in and it comes. I mean, I think we know that bananas, apples. When you eat a banana, you have to go to the bathroom. Apples, you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so fruit, fruit digests quicker, but that's good for your system, though. That's good for your system. Um, try not to have carbs at the same time 
for example, at a restaurant, try not to have bread and meat at the same time because the result is going to be gas. Because remember, you got the carb, which is the bread and the meat and the meat slowly digests in your system. So, you know, it's just going to slowly go down. Think about that. Limit your dairy. Like I said, you might not have to be, you might not be able to pull all the way back with your dairy, but limit it. Um, or try some of the lactose free things. Just just make a quick change. Like I said, do the food diary for five days. Write down what you have. And then the next week, maybe do some substitutes in there or some pullbacks. And you should see a change. <laughs> Reduce sugar. Bad bacteria feeds off of sugar. So when you have bad bacteria, it feeds off of sugar. So you you drink you eat a lot of foods and you drink a lot of foods with sugar in it. So you just pumping the bad bacteria in it. So the gas is going to explode sooner or later. It's going to explode sooner or later. Also, you can reduce your candy pops and gum. Um, candy pops and gum also can cause constipation with, with your system. So just remember that. Limit your beans and legumes. It's L-E-G-U-M-E-S. It's beans, peas, and all that stuff. Take a probiotic. Now, limit your beans and legumes. Remember, that's supposed to be healthy for you. So, what's, what's tripping me out lately about the whole thing with what you put in, it, it has an effect on your body with everything coming out, farts, whatever gas, is a lot of the things are the healthy things we're supposed to eat to stay away from the carbs. But as you see, those things cause gas. And gas exploding at different crazy times, exploding empty just the, the sound exploding stinky exploding <laughs> it's like you know you're like what can i you know what's going on um you can also what a help with stored acid is lemon water and apple cider vinegar now i know you cannot drink apple cider vinegar just straight but you can mix it with water or you can mix it in one of your drinks and it should help your system i had another thing um about um it's not over here but um Um, I had another thing. It was about, um, we're talking about it. Um, was, I, had, I had another thing. Please hold. Hello, hello, hello. You are back. You are watching KTV. It's just K1. That's the name of my channel. New people, welcome. Come on in. Join us. And returning people, you know the deal. Come on in. Everybody just come on in. We are discussing today farting. Yes, I said it. Farting. Farting to come out you. ASS. Um, also, what I, I couldn't find a note I had made, but I had a note um, getting back to the, top, the topic of farting and you're supposed to fart and what my doctor was saying. Um, also... When you when you pass gas and sometimes it smells bad, it's because whatever you're putting in does not agree with your system. So sometimes you may have bad gas. You notice when you eat beans, you have bad gas and it stink. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes fast food and sometimes farts. Yes, I said the word farts. F A R T S. Farts, farts, poots, busting wind, cracking wind, farts. Everybody does it. Okay, nobody wants to talk about it. Anyway, that sometimes when you expel the gas out, um, like I said, it has it has a lot to do with your your food plan. We don't say diet, your food plan. So even as you saw when I was giving you the information about trying to eat healthy things, some some healthy things do give you gas. Um, I know with me, when I was talking to my doctor, I mentioned that she was like, "What's your daily diet?" Like like I told you, the salads. And then, but in the morning, I have my coffee. Y'all know I have coffee sometimes in the morning. Sometimes I have water and then some days I have coffee. And I did that little experiment the week I went to the doctor and I didn't have coffee but one time that week. And um, my urine did not smell like coffee. Um, and I still had some gas. Now, I know coffee, they say what gives you the gas is the sugar. So sugar is a part of a lot of different things, especially Starbucks drinks, uh, Dunkin' Donuts drinks and things like that. Um, you know, the flavor waters and all that stuff. That will still give you gas. Um, but when you're eating a lot of baddie food, I call baddie food like fast food, baddie food. Also, like they say, a lot of carbonated food, carbonated beverages, carbonated food, foods with a lot of sugar in them. You wouldn't even know that or think about Doritos has sugar in it. I mean, it's like stuff you don't think about, but snacks and stuff, they have sugar in them. They have salt. That's another thing that's kind of bad, but they also have sugar in them. So it's like, we're doomed if we do, we're doomed if we don't. 
or whatever. But I'm just here to tell you that over the last two years, my farting has increased a lot. I mean, it's so bad. And I was telling the doctor, it's so bad and embarrassing that I'll be talking to somebody, you know, and I'll have to move around. You try to move, you try to do different things to camouflage. I'll have to move around or I just walk off. I said, let me, I'll be right back. Cause you can feel it coming. And sometimes you don't catch it. Sometimes you can't jump out in front of it. Sometimes it just happens. You need to call for sneeze and do something to try to overshadow it, but it happens. Um, but I noticed that even though I don't eat a lot of baddie foods, but I do have coffee. So, you know, coffee has, I do extra cream all the time, y'all. So what I try to do lately now is when I do have coffee, try to, like, I'm trying to do the extra water. Remember I was told I didn't have, an, I wasn't drinking enough water. So um, I'm trying to do the extra water and water, just water and lemon, or like they suggested, water and apple cider vinegar. But it's going to happen. It is embarrassing. Um, I know once of a friend that it happened and she just played it off like it wasn't nothing. And then everybody just looked like, <laughs> cause we're so used to being, we're so used to it being like it happens and maybe it's supposed to happen behind closed doors or in closed office or not around other people. And then sometimes you can't control it. It just happens. And like I said, I try to move around. Um, uh, sometimes you get a warning, your stomach is bubbling. And sometimes you don't, sometimes you just be talking to somebody and it happened. And then, you know, I, I've been around somewhere where it happened before and she just, I'm telling you, she just played it off like it, like it didn't happen. And I just, look, I just kept talking. I just kept talking. If she didn't, if you don't, if you don't acknowledge your fart, I won't either. But if you fart and it smells, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. Yes, I am. Now, with my situation, um, man happens a lot in the early morning or at night. A lot of times. Uh, I don't know what it has to do with my, my, um, the way I eat, I'm not doing intermittent fasting yet, y'all. I don't know, but I just know that in the last two years, it has increased more than it than it was before. So, like I said, I think I eat fairly healthy. I think out of on a scale of one to ten, I eat healthy about maybe sixty or seventy percent. Because on the weekends, I eat what I want, but I don't know. So I love my coffee, y'all. I love my coffee. Now, what I'm trying to lax on is my late night ice cream sessions, but that's gonna be incorporated in going to bed at a manageable time and not wake it back up to snack that will handle that so i'm gonna try that um but it's just y'all don't know it's embarrassing it's so embarrassing because it's the ones you can't control it's the ones you can't control but we are supposed to fart y'all we supposed to it's healthy don't hold it in I don't know if you have a fart story, you can drop it below, leave a comment, like and subscribe, <laughs> leave your comment about your fart, y'all. Leave your comment if you have one. Um, leave a comment how you deal with it. Do you walk around with the little poof poof spray? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know because sometimes you can't always make it to the bathroom. Um, they don't have a fart closet. Uh, but like I said, a lot of times you'll be talking and it just happens. And it's 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 very it's humiliating because you I think you're more worried about what the other person thinks whether it has any effect on you and your system and first of all you'll be worried that it only have one time you just want it to happen one time you don't want it to continue because you know sometimes it's like a horn it come out like boop, they go burp, 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 burp. you just be like god no no so <laughs> it's all different types but the basic thing to slow them down or get a grip on them as i say because you're supposed to have them is your food plan you have to attack that what you're putting in because whatever you're putting in and you're over 45 years old you're gonna get some output and it ain't gonna just be the number two you're gonna have a friend coming along with it i call it the friend that go along with number two so you know sometimes farting to be farting sometimes it's something else like i'm saying like i'm saying so just be proactive and be aware of more what you're putting in your body at being a person 45 plus or 50 plus or 55 plus be more aware i mean i know some people you get to the point where you know you get to a certain age or a point where you feel like i lived my life i'm gonna eat and drink what i want sometimes you can't do that you want to be here for as long as you can so you're gonna have to change remember i, was, I talk about this all the time over the last couple of uh, vlogs you have to make adjustments with your body and the health and what your body needs and what your body wants and what's best for it, no matter what you're saying so i'm 
not saying you have to eliminate everything all the way through, but you can scale back. Like I suggested, you can scale back on some things. The dairy, I know is very important to some people because some people like using the oat milk and the oat this and the non-dairy creamer and um, lactose and uh, lactate and all that stuff. So those are things you can incorporate in. But like the lady suggested, the um, nutritionist, do a food diary. Take five days and write down, or take a week and write down every single thing you have. You don't have to write down the water, but you do drink water. But everything, if you do a protein shake, if you do a big dinner at a restaurant, what are you having? Are you having meat and bread at the same time? That's going to digest slower in your body. Are you having protein shakes all week? Um, and don't think that nobody's above it if they don't have farts, because they do. They do. Nobody wants to talk about it, and nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to discuss it, but they do. But like I said, it, it comes a time where everything you put in, you may get a crazy outcome. Some is okay, some is loud. I mean, but some of the farts, I remember my brother, or my brother and them were little, they they would have those farts like, you know, it started off like one, and then it's like a horn. <laughs> And then sometimes they don't be through. And then the silent ones. Oh, my God. The silent ones can kill you. The silent ones. Sometimes the silent ones are very stinky. Very stinky. Where you do it and you all pass and everybody look at each other like, who farted? You know you did that. You blame all the person that ate you. Whatever. Or you get out you get out of a car. Or you get up off a couch and there's people, people still sitting there. And you do it and then you try to blame it on somebody else. Everybody done did that. Farting is farting. It's healthy. But we're trying to get a little grip around it. Get a little grip on it. Attack your food plan slash diet. That's what I call a diet, food plan. Attack that. Make some adjustments and come back. And you shouldn't, it shouldn't be happening. But as my doctor said, your insides change as you get older. So, I mean, I'm sure they have a whole, whole lot of over-the-counter. I mean, they got gas, X, Tums, and all this stuff. I mean, I still I still uh, deal with the old school Tums. When my stomach is upset, because, like, lately, when I eat food and pig out or whatever, um, my stomach does not get upset, like, hurting, ever. But it gets uneasy. So, I have Tums. I don't even have pepto in my house, but I have Tums. And I... Um, I mean, I just try to wait it out. Drink water, water with lemon... Um, probiotic that helps but i'm telling y'all we gotta we gotta take care of these farts so we gotta get a control we gotta get control over them and on them uh so we won't be embarrassed because like i said the part the one person is embarrassed the next person is embarrassed too don't think that they don't do it it's just it ain't happened to them yet of being out loud maybe they try to control it but the worst thing to do is hold it in please do not hold it in let it out even if you gotta go outside and walk Go in the basement, go in the bathroom, or whatever. Go in another room. Let it go. Just let it go. And that's my spew. One farting. Putin, farting, busting wind, cracking wind, all of the above. We all do it. We need. We trying to get a grasp on it. So let's go there. Let's re-examine our food intake and our drink intake. I mean, you know, it could be liquor, anything, coffee. We got to re-examine it, y'all. So, that's what I wanted to speak to you about today. The word fart and what it does to you, how it embarrasses you, how you are embarrassed when it happens, because it just comes, it goes, it just comes and goes. Unpredictable. But I thank you. I'm glad you let me share and talk about that. But just get a good grasp on your eating program. And maybe make some adjustments and that should help you out. I am Kay. The name of my channel is It's Just K1. I thank you for sharing your time with me. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. And I will wrap a taste with you later. Remember, it's all right. It's all right. We're going to be all right. See you soon. Hello, 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 y'all. It's just K1 coming at you. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter if you're celebrating. If not, happy Sunday. What y'all do? Y'all want to know what I'm doing? This is an addition to the fart seminar info, <laughs> infotainment that I gave y'all earlier. I'm going to work on a craft project, and the project is for my bedroom. But, um, oh, let me back it up. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. Hello. How are you? My name is Kay. The name of my channel is It's Just K1. Welcome. New people come on in. 
and returning people, you know the deal. Come on in. Everybody's welcome. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter. If you celebrate. If you don't, it's okay. Anyway, like I said, in addition to the video, <laughs> um, today I'm working on an art project um, and it's under home decor and it's for my bedroom. And I, I've been eyeing this ceramic piece on Amazon for a good while and I like to put my own twist on stuff. So I got the ceramic piece and I went to Michael's to buy some accessories that goes with it. And we're going to get into it and we're going to fix it. So, yes, I'm donning my Chicago house music shirt. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And that's the courtesy of Miss Nikki Hill. Get out of if you want some t-shirts. Because Chicago is house music. Remember that. Okay, walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk, walk, walk with me. Let me cut the light off. You know, light bill ain't. <laughs> anyway, um, we're walking and walking and walking. Anyway, um, I was ready to put on a movie that I love. And I have a variety of interests in movies, if you didn't know. But I'm really into uh, the 70s movies and, you know, the B movies, the bad B movies, where it's just, well, you kind of like, that shit is awful. <laughs> but I like that. I like that. But I really like. Planet of the Apes movies, the ones way back, the originals. So on Tubi today, they had listed Planet of the Apes. It was supposed to be on here for 14 more days. Let me let me show you. Let me. And um, I'm going to put that on while I'm working on the project. You see, that's all the way back from 1968. That's the original. Roddy McDowell. That ain't no punk. And Charlton Heston. Y'all know Charlton Heston is from the Ten Commandments. I'm sure that's on today. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people watching it. But anyway, I'm going to turn it up loud. But I'm going to have it on while I'm working. And... Another disclaimer, I don't have a cocktail table yet for my living room. I think I told y'all I'm still going through the thing of trying to get it together, deciding which one to pick is down to two. And um, I really have to look at the dynamic of the diameter of the table and how it functions in the living room. You know, that's the, that's the interior decor talk. But anyway, uh, I don't want a table that's too big, that's overwhelming for the space. And I don't want a table that's too tiny. And I want it to serve because I'll do projects and do things on the table. Um, I have an idea for a table that I saw and I would like to change it kind of like I changed my desk when I got it. Um, I order it in one color and I want to do a project and change it to something else. That's a project coming y'all. But anyway, let's get to this decor and I'm going to set y'all up. The inspiration I'm going to show y'all for the project is right here. Wait a minute. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the inspiration pictures right here. This is from Amazon right there. That's the that's the one I bought, that one. And here's one where when you know when you scroll to the bottom on Amazon and they give you suggestions on other things, that's it's real it should be real simple. It should be real simple, y'all. But you know, sometimes, sometimes it don't turn out that way. But anyway, we can get into it. So I'm gonna prop y'all up. I'm gonna cover a movie on, I'm gonna prop y'all up and uh bust out my supplies and we're gonna see if this do what it do. Hope y'all are doing well and everything. Okay, let me get some water. <laughs> okay, let me move stuff out the way. Let me get my movie going, and I will turn it down. I'm gonna rewatch this. You know, I love me some um, Planet of the Apes. That's my, that's my, that's my stuff. That's my jam. Um, okay, we we'll turn it down some though. Okay. Anyway, those are the two inspiration pictures. Now I ordered off of. I ordered off of a. Uh, is the is the sunlight back there too much? What? Not nah, y'all should be okay. Uh oh. I ordered off of uh, Amazon. The uh, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. Monkey in the middle. Monkey in the middle. I'm in the middle. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I ordered off of Amazon the uh, the uh, the ceramic that I just showed you. So I chose this one. I think I mentioned before, and I think I may have showed you this before on one of the Amazon hauls. I didn't, they had a African American looking one or whatever. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but the color was kind of way off. It was either, it looked like, I don't know if they were trying to do Native American or African American. I don't know. It was too, it was too much brown and then the features didn't look right. It was these features, but the color of it was just off. So I was like, no, and I I wasn't trying to do a project of painting over. So this is this is her. Is she cute? So we're gonna try to do them pictures I just showed y'all. So this is the ceramic. I'm gonna set this to the side because I don't want her broke. Uh, when I went to my famous craft store, Michaels, 
to get some supplies. Now, what I do want to say, I wish we had Hobby Lobby close to my house, but I have Michael's close to my house. The Hobby Lobby is a little bit further, but I didn't go there. You know, when you go to Michael's, when I go to Michael's, I'm in there for a long time, but don't let me go to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be in there for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Y'all know. So let me get this, these supplies out here. So we're working on... Y'all know, this, this is how we're doing. We're working on some snack tray. Like I told you, I ain't got no tape. I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> we got the snack tray number one. Right there. And the snack tray number two. That's what we're working on. It's got to be how we, however you got to do it. Just put it, get it, get it, get it done. Until we get this table, y'all. Okay, so. I'll bring y'all up, so. Okay. So, um, I think it's going to get messy because I was going to do this project on my desk but I hope it don't get messy because we're gonna be using a styrofoam and you know if you know you crafters know when you cut this it's a hot a mess this is a mess I got this from Michaels um I had to go back and forth and ask the lady in there what size should I get because of what where I'm trying to put it it has to be cut down they had the circle ones but I don't think that could fit in there even if I cut it and I want it to be full where the thing don't flip over and tip over so we got that. We got the, these are the shears to cut the flowers, the plastic flowers. I think I have some of these. Got that from Michaels. I have some of these from a long time ago when I made, uh, I'll show y'all what I made myself. Very crafty. <laughs> I made uh, this. I made this a long time ago, just so you know. I made this for myself. As you see, it's just a regular fish bowl. And I have the, remember, remember uh, a couple of years ago, everybody was doing these little, these little pebbles and pearls in the bottom. Yeah, marbles. So I made this and it's kind of, these are the flowers in here. And this was from, this, I made two of them. I think the other one I threw out. And as you see, it's styrofoam in the bottom of there. I made this about five years ago. No, five, uh-uh. I made this when I turned 40. So I've had this over 10 years. And what this was, was I had a birthday dinner at Maggiano's downtown Chicago. And this is the menu from there. So I had already made the flower, the planner thing. And I just thought it would be cute to put this in here as a keepsake. Oh, yeah. This is from 2006, y'all. Look. <laughs> That's the menu. So it's held up. It's moved with me from place to place. And I, this was a good project. This was a very nice project. Like I said, I made two of them. Um, oh, it ain't sitting in here right. Hold on, yeah. I made two of them. One I just got rid of. Um, and also with this, because I love decor and I like entertaining and all that type of thing. Um, with this, the color that I wore was like a burnt orange. It was a dress, a burnt orange dress. So you see the the flowers are like a yellow and a peach and then i also gave as a um thank you gift to everybody that came i gave these candles that i got at kohl's at the batman bulk like 20 some candles and i had a private room in, Mar in Mar mariano Mar maggiano's downtown on clark so this turned out good these like i said these were very pretty these were on i had two tables that these set on and then i just bought bought them home but this was a project. Yeah, I've been rolling with the projects and the styrofoam for a long time. It's hard to work with these these flowers, these artificial flowers, and cutting them. Ooh, Lord. Okay, let me put this to the side. Anyway. Okay, so. Uh, we got everything out. Now we need to take out. I want to do. I kind of want to do the softer one that I showed you all. So I have stuff for both. I found it at Michael's. Um, I have supplies for both. So if you remember the inspiration picture, she has this kind of stuff in there and this kind of stuff. And her her hair is like hanging over. It's like if she had, I guess, dreads or twists or whatever. So these are the type that will hang over. And these are heavy. And I asked that girl, you know, I asked people in the store, you know, everybody in the store don't always know they just work here. Um, and I got extras just in case I have to cut stuff off. I want to do the flower, the regular flower plant one for now. And I, I just got the second, um, set up so I can switch out. Like maybe in the wintertime or whatever after a few months. And I have extras. I have smaller ones. 
You see how they got the little taste of color on there? Okay, and then the one I want to do, the one I want to put to the test, I tried to find something that looks exactly like the picture, so that would be this. And I bought two of these, because you're not probably going to use all of it. It's going to have to get cut down, as you see. You see? So we're going to take this out, because this is the one I really want to use. This is the one I want to do. Let me put this to the side. And I have two of those. I have two of those. So I don't want to cut them down, like, BSing around with them. And I got these from Michaels. Um, it was a lot to look look through in there. Because when I first came in, I was in one section and I was in the other. I mean, I was in there for over an hour, I know. I know they probably was looking at me like, what are you doing? So, excuse me. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to look at the picture and look back what I'm doing. You know, that type of thing. <laughs> so, let me bring y'all down some. Uh, okay, first of all, let me show you something. There's the picture, y'all. There's the picture. I'm doing this one. Right here, I'm doing that one. So remember that. Keep that in your mind. We're going we're gonna to do some creative, creativeness, creativeness. <laughs> okay. So, um, um, this is what I'm starting with. This is what I'm working with. I wanted to drape across the top and then I wanted to drape down. Okay. So, this is the thing. Now, you know good and damn well, this whole thing can't go in here. It'll flip the thing over. So, we're going to have to do some cutting that don't, don't. I'm not a professional. This is a DIY. So I see how this looks now and I know how I want it. I want it where it's more of this on top. Mm -hmm. More of her hair or whatever at the top. Let me bring it down some. Hold on. So I want Let me back up. Some. So I want more of her hair like coming out on the top. I don't want to block her face. But I want to kind of I want it kind of like this and then it will go it's going to get cut down some. It's going to go down and then it's going to just drape down. Um drape down. So we got to I think we're going to have to cut it down a lot because I like the height on top right now, but I don't necessarily she don't necessarily have to have all this and I don't want it to I don't want it to be so much where it flips over. Cause that's where the um where this comes in. So I don't know. So we may have to cut we may have to cut some of this off by by leaves or branches, or and it's very like when I was trying to take it apart at the store. See how it's all tangled up. Some of the parts was falling off. And I'm like, oh my god. So we're gonna try to work this out. So that's basically what I'm going for the look I'm going for. Let me move her over here. So I'm trying to see. I should use regular uh, scissors. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think first of all, I should separate each uh, limb. Because that's a problem too, the way it's all bunched up. I like it for the fullness, but when you sit it in the in the little ceramic thing. Uh, oh yeah, that's the spaceship on Planet A spaceship. Before they had crashed, y'all know anybody know about Planet A? Before they had crashed, they crashed. Now the spaceship going down. Charlton Heston was the man. Charlton Heston is a fine, good-looking Caucasian man. <laughs> He's looking good, young and old, y'all. That's my man, Charlton Heston. Okay, so uh, Earth time, November twenty-fifth, nineteen sixty-nine. Every time I see Charlton Heston, no matter what he be in, I think of uh, Ten Commandments. <laughs> Every time, it's just like I can't get him out. I can't get him out of my mind. You know, they had an African-American man on here. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay, I got this all separated, it looked like. Got them all separated. Okay. So, really what's going to have to happen is this is going to have to get cut off. Because it's no way. There's no way this is going to work like this. You know that, so. It's no way. No way this is going to work like this. Because this is not the way I want it anyway. I don't want it looking like a whole tree. Because it's going to go further down in here with this put in there. So, I'm just looking at 
for example. Now, I've separated everything. I'm just bending it to see how I, I think it's going to look. Okay. So. Okay, so this is with the thing being bent. This is no styrofoam or anything in there. I want it, like, going to the side. I want her hair and stuff going to the side. That's a little bit too much. I don't, that's too bushy all up in here. It's too chunky. I'd rather have the height right on the top. I'd rather have the height right on the top. And then it slowly goes there. This is almost like doing a damn hairstyle, being a hairstylist. I don't know. Uh, so I like, I like this look, but I know I want it more, I don't know, tailored. And I want more height right up in here. So that means that probably more has to be pushed down in here. Y'all y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And then I guess you have to play with it to get it. You just have to move it around and play with it. Because it's not the type that when you bend it, it go the way you want. This is not that type. So... Um, and then what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to play around with it both ways. I'm trying to play around with it with the stem still on it, and maybe I don't have to cut the the vines off the stem, and then because before I cut it, because you know once I cut it, that's it, <laughs> it's over. So I don't like this the way this looks right here. I do like a little bit of the height it has in here, but that's like I said again, you got to play around with it. Okay, but. And it doesn't have to be super long on the bottom. So this is how this looks now. Now in the inspiration picture, um, a lot of these leaves are cut down. But I think what you can do is, I can still put the styrofoam in here. Because this is going to, I think this would tip over, depending if somebody push it or something. I think what you can do is, what you can do is, um... I can leave the stem on, but maybe cut some of the pieces off. And then when I cut the pieces off, some of the limb, some of the stems off, I can stick them back down in the, this. Because right now, I don't, it's, it's too wild and crazy right now. But this really long one, I think this, this, this was, these two are the really long ones. I think if I cut, if I cut those, those two off and go back. I cut these two limbs off. Let that stay like that. Cut those two limbs off. And then go back and push these two limbs, these two tall ones, down in the styrofoam. It'll be okay. Because I think just pushing it, um, I think the styrofoam still needs to go in there. Just maybe a little a smaller piece. Okay, so let me use this to cover it. So, um, mm -mm. I'm just trying to get a handle on which ones I want to cut. So I want to cut those two. I'm just wrapping this back around here so I know them two I want to cut. The rest was fine the way it was. That was a that was an okay limb because I could play around with it. Okay, so let's take this out. Now here comes the hard part about this dog on styrofoam. Okay, so I know it's those. This is not working, y'all. Wrapping it in the damn paper is even work. <laughs> uh oh, see, see what I just talked about? It came out. So maybe I don't have to cut it. Maybe it'll just pull out. No, this one got to be cut because this one is not like. Okay, so now we're going to use these. Okay, so let me put. First, let me get it out of the ceramic. That's where we're struggling with. And I don't want another one to come off and have to stick it. Okay. Put you to the side. Okay, so this was, where's the second one that was supposed to come out? This is one. And it's good that this came off because I still got to stick this down in there. And the other one was, was it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one. So I'm going to cut this. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to cut this one. Okay, open these up. Oh, this got man, ghetto locks on it. Nobody trying to steal these things. Michaels, I got to get some real scissors to cut this. Hold on a minute. Ugh. My planet of the apes on, my planet of the apes. 
Okay. So, anyway. Okay, so I need to cut this. I don't like cutting because it might pop and go somewhere. Okay, so I got to cut this. The stems on this is not too thick that it would seem like you would need a um, flower cutter for the wire because it's thin. But you know, I don't know. Uh, regular scissors might not cut it. And I'm glad I did get the wire cutter. Um, okay, we're trying to get this off right here. It had these ghetto locks on the back. Look at that. Try. Believe me, if somebody's trying to steal this, I don't know. Y'all, okay. Bending my scissors. How did I get the first one now? Okay. Shit, I ain't trying to cut. Oh, it's, it's off. It's off. Okay. The struggle is real. Okay, so here's these. The long, the long stem, which is this, which is what? Okay. This was the st this was one of the stems, and then we had that really long one. Was it this? I just forgot y'all. Yeah, it's this. It's the really long one, which is this. So you have to come back to this, and you nip. You uh, clip this like down here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm going to clip that right there. All right, now. It fell out. Okay. So I clipped it. So now we have the two longest ones. That was these two. Okay. And we're going to get some type of coating on it. We're going to come back and try to get it all inside the um, ceramic thing. And then we'll I'll see if anything else needs to be cut. Because I had already separated them, but I'm sure now they didn't get back all twisted together. So we're going to see. So, and cut the styrofoam, which is probably going to be just straight kooky town. I already said that well, I'm going to have to vacuum and everything. So, please hold. All right, all right, people, 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 party, people, happy Easter, happy April, happy being alive, happy everything. All right, y'all, we back. So now it's time to cut this, to put a piece of this inside of the ceramic lady. So I know that I knew this, I knew that whatever type of uh, styrofoam I would get, it would have to be cut down. They had a lot of the circle ones. But it wouldn't even matter. It still would have to get cut down to fit it. I knew it couldn't fit. So I'm going to open this. Hopefully it does not make a hot mess. This is the Craft Foam or Foam uh, number 12 block from Michaels. Uh, it's made in the USA. I guess you would like to know that. It's made with recycled plastic. And I've used Styrofoam before. I've used the ball, the green one. That, you know, a lot of times it's white or green. Um, I've used it before. Um, Sometimes you can break it. Sometimes you have to cut it. Uh, but it, it just goes by what you're using it for and how you have to fit it down in some things. Some things that don't work with just the size it comes in. Um, okay, so we're going to open this up. I just don't want it to see it. I just don't want it to make pieces everywhere. So I think that, first of all, it has to get cut down to fit in here so it has to be able to go in between there and so right now y'all see <laughs> that don't work so i think maybe cutting it down and making two squares like it can go through there like that but i say make cut this across here cut this across here and then across here so i'm gonna have two squares like a cube so I don't know if this is going to all work. What happened to the scissors? We don't see. Um, I haven't worked with styrofoam in a long time. So, let's see here. Okay. So, I said cut about that width across there. Something like that across there. And then go down and then make two squares. 
and it's already making mess everywhere. Okay, so we got a whole pack of it. Make sure it don't, I don't know if that's going to work out. I really don't know. Like I see, I had the line right here. I had the line right here. I don't know if you can see the line right there. Let me go back over that again. And it's already making little bitty particles. That ain't straight. That ain't straight. Okay, and then we have the line right there. Okay. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I'm going to keep going around it to make it, um, like, eventually just come off. I hope it don't knock my phone off the thing. <laughs> I just said, I hope it don't knock my phone off the thing. <laughs> okay. Hold on a minute, y'all. Hold on a minute. Please hold. Okay, we're back. I'm probably going to have to take the, I'm going to take everything out and this and start all over again and cut two more, two more squares. Okay. So now they're in there like that. I pushed them down in there. So now I'm going to stick the stems back in them to see how this is going to go. Okay, so here's our two pieces, that the hangling dangling. Okay. And then we have the big piece. So what I want to do, I think I'm going to cut the stem down some. Because if I cut it down, remember I had it bent when I had it in here the first go around. I had it bent like this and it draped right over. So I think if I cut half of it off, you gotta remember how far down in here it's gonna go. If I just stick it in here, see, this is the thing I was talking about, about the weight of it. I think if I cut it, so if I cut this, this is gonna go like that. If I cut this, like maybe, uh, because it's draping over, it's bending right here, and that's where it went in. If I cut it, like right here, when it goes in, it will stick right in. <laughs> but I'm, if I cut it right here, or right here, it will stick, yeah. So I need to cut this part off. Okay. So I want to leave that and that. Wait, 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 wait. What did I say? That's where the bin is. That's where it went in. So right here, I want to cut it right here. Because then it leaves me with two areas I can still mess with, these two. So I could cut that part off. Hopefully this will cut and not give me problems, y'all. Charlton Heston, baby, where you at? Okay. Okay. Uh, it ain't cutting. To pop and see, uh, luckily, this bends, so this might not have been a problem. There it go. This bends a lot of the plastic stuff, they don't, it doesn't always bend. Oh, this is this is you got to work with this. Oh, it cut okay. Thank you. I'm like, you got to work it out. Gotta be careful with this too because it's pointy some parts sticking out I don't want to get nicked like the wire or whatever you call this the steel is like really poked out I got to do hammering and layering I'm just trying to bend it down where the where the part was cut out I don't know if you can see that it's like real pointy and stuff and I don't want to get nicked trying to deal with it with the styrofoam and get cut Trying to nick it down. Just trying to smooth it down some. Okay. So, we get ready to go in with this. To this. We are back. So, okay. Get ready to go in. Here she is right here. Stair phone is in. Here it crunching. Oh, shit. I hurt my hand. 
Okay. So, uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Got some malfunctions, y'all. Okay. So, y'all, I'm holding this in. Okay. So. So, okay, so I needed to come over some because the way the hair is going to go. So basically, some of the hair is going to probably go down in the planner. Remember, I wanted it a little bit high. Now, these bend, you know, a lot of them don't bend. It's like you got to get down and dirty. got to get down and dirty with it, y'all. Lord, like the weed from hell. <laughs> okay. So basically, I'm pushing some of the tree part down in here. And I want it to stay down because I still got my two long pieces. And then I'm gonna crunch it down. I guess you gotta you gotta do it. You gotta do it the best way you can, y'all. Okay. So I still want more over here, like at the top of her head. Use your hands, use your hands. So, okay. So basically, I still have my two long ones. You could bring it forward, you have to play around with it. So now I guess I can put in my two long ones. Like I said, you have to move it over some and play around with it. Okay. And then I still have my two long stems that I cut off from earlier. That's this one and that one. Get some control to this. And I think also what I could do with this is like get like a, a bread wrapper or some type of baggy tie and tie it around. And it'll form, because since this bends, a lot of the plastic stuff does not bend. You know, some of it don't bend. You have to bend it. And some, sometimes it doesn't go in the shape that you want. Okay, so that out your eye okay so then we got the two long ones how you looking girl let me see how you looking yeah i'm trying to work with her I'm glad this bends because that helps a lot. Like I said, since it does bend, it helps with forming the little shape. Okay, so and that's what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna take it all the, the part that's hanging and I'm gonna um let me see, I'm trying to push it all together. And I'm going to um you know um, yeah, play around with it. Yeah. Okay, so here's this here's one of the long ones. And then here's that really long one, because maybe it had to bend on it. I'm gonna stick this up in here. Okay. Y'all, this is a project bull. I don't want this. Okay. So this has to go somewhere up in here, and it's gonna go down in there. Okay. And it might not even have to go on the stair phone, just down in there just to be okay. So all right, all right, Miss Lady. You don't want it too high on the top, but you do want her to have some hair on the top. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, because I just felt these were too long where they were just waiting the, the thing over. And the other one I guess you could put somewhere in the middle. Because it's already long in the top. Even if I have to cut it down some more. Do you need to be up in the front? Let me look at you. Yeah, because you don't want this part really high. It looks weird. Is it this part that she's sticking out? Yeah, you have to play around with it, y'all. It didn't make that much of a mess. I guess the more you cut it, the stale from. Okay, so this is the second part. Let me look at her. See where I think she should be. Uh -oh. One minute. 
And like I said, that's the, the long stem I put in, I didn't even stick in the styrofoam. I just put it in, I just put it like in between. What y'all doing today? It's Easter. What y'all doing? If y'all celebrating it or you're not, are you having dinner? Did you have some eggs? Are you cooking? Are you out in the streets dipping and doing it? Okay. Uh, okay, what is that? I guess, like I said, you have to play around with this. You have to figure out where you want it to be. But I think I'm going to put one of those ties on it and to try to group it where it's all kind of in sync together. So it don't be all willy-nilly. Because right now it's a little willy-nilly. And I put the one long strand in. I just want it to look like a, a real hair. I want it to look more realistic like hair. I don't want it to be like, you know. So this is kind of too high. Okay, y'all. So let's take a closer look at this. Please hold. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is what she's looking like right now. And I'm trying to... Like I said, you probably have to play around with it. She look kind of cute. She look kind of cute. I want to limit this height right up in here, this one. But since they're so soft and genuine, eh, she look cute. Oh, she look like she got it going on. All right, Miss Lady. Okay, so I still had this left. I might just put this to the side with the other uh, piece over there. So... That wasn't that bad. I got to look at cute. She's going to look cute on my nightstand or on my uh, dresser. So let's look at the inspiration piece. Let me take a picture of this too. Please hold. Okay. All right. All right. We are back. This is the inspiration piece right here from the Amazon site. That's the inspiration piece of what I was trying to do or something similar. And then here is my piece. Hold on a minute. Ugh. I'm going to hold it up right next to it. And here is my piece. Oops, getting it all twisted, y'all. <laughs> okay, then here is my piece. And I think it came out, I think it came out cute. There's the inspiration over there. And here's mine. A little elbow grease and everything. <laughs> I think it came out cute. It's, it's more that I could play around with it with. Um, you know, up in here, I do love the fact that these are bendable. You know, like I said, sometimes you get some of this plastic, these plants, and you can't bend it. Um, and it cut, it did give me some, some pushback on that long stem, but I think she looks beautiful and I like it draping down. Um, I, I cut two stems off, one I use and one I still have. That would be this. I will save this to go with the other long piece over there. And sometimes within a year, I will switch out and use the other picture, um, try to do the other one. But I think it came out good. I think she came out good. Like I said, you have to keep playing around with it. Um, this was fairly easy, y'all. Uh, I think, I can't remember what she cost. I think she was $20, $25. And this little stuff was on sale at Michael's. It was like... Buy one or 50% off or 40% off of all floral something in the back. You know, Michaels and um, Hobby Lobby have sales on this type of stuff all the time because this is not very expensive. But make sure you get you a wire cutter because, like I said, sometimes regular scissors will not cut these, these plants and stuff. So, I think she looks pretty. And I already got a name for her. Her name is Her. <laughs> like the R&B singer. She is Her. She is her. Her is me. She looks cute, don't she? Yeah, she gonna, she gonna work it out. She gonna work it out with a little side going to the left with a little side side fro hawk or mohawk or whatever you want to call it. Look pretty good. I think I did a good job. I think I did a good job. And here's the top part. And I'm just glad she didn't tip over and stuff because... That would be a problem. So over here, I'm going to put uh, tonight or whenever I take it upstairs, I'm going to put, or even today, I'm going to put, grab it all and put like one of those ties, like from the bread. We have like some extra ones in a drawer and I'm going to put that 
at the bottom part so it can just all get all together. Um, I know it's a plant, it's supposed to look like a plant, but I rather, I want a little bit more formity to it. So yeah, it's kind of just all going across. I want a little bit more formity. First, I'm going to try to do it by grabbing it and pushing it together and see if that works to let it sit for a few minutes and then come back and take a look. Because look, you could like see through to the scalp. <laughs> but we have a full, a, a full head of... <laughs> And this is the back of it. Yeah. And then here you go with the inspiration picture again. Not that. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's the inspiration picture. You think I did a good job? I think I did a good job, y'all. I mean, it was a lot of elbow grease going on. I mean, the, the stuff was flying. I got a vacuum. I feel like that styrofoam is on my face. Or whatever. You see me, you see me huffing and puffing. <laughs> Because I feel like the styrofoam is on my face somewhere, like up here, like little pieces. Oh, that was a piece of hair. It just felt like it was on my face. But I think I did a good job. Y'all see my see my Planet of the Apes, boy. you Charlie Heston, man. you looking good. Charlie Heston, but I don't like to see you in no cage, man. You got, look at that, look at that. Kim Hunter. Charlie Heston, look at that, look at that blonde, them streaks. They got the highlights going, yo. <laughs> I love me some Charlie Heston. Anyway. <laughs> That's all for today, y'all. We didn't talk about the fire team, and I hope y'all appreciated that. And we talked about my craft project. I think I got it together. And the room is coming along fine. Remember I told y'all I was trying to do my bedroom, trying to do living room. We trying to do one room at a time, but it just depends on when I see stuff. I just get it. Um I'm I think I'm gonna place the order for the table and the um the poof <laughs> this week so we can get it by the weekend or early next week. And then my bedroom, I still got stuff I'm trying to do up there. Um, I got some pictures to hang. I got my, it's a picture, it's an artist y'all need to check out. I had seen her before I saw her work on um, Tasha Fujuste, Fujuste's page. That's one of my favorite YouTubers. And that's the one that makes the lip gloss. <laughs> the hygienist, Tasha Fujuste, Fujuste. I'm trying to say a French bow. And I don't know what happened. I was trying to take a call off or whatever, y'all. I had seen her work, um, this artist's work before I seen before <laughs> before I saw it on Taja's page. I had already saw it just across social media. And the artist's name is Pink Lomain. And y'all, y'all got to check it out. I ordered me, I, I kept searching and searching. And I think on one of Taja's videos, she went to, Bur it was Burlington TJ Maxx search, something like that. And they had the pictures there. Well, the next day after I saw the video, I went to my Burlington and TJ Maxx and Ross. They didn't have them. They had something similar, but they didn't have it. And I know in the South, they get stuff before us. So sometimes we get stuff before them. Well, it ain't hit up here yet. And I'm trying to get mad why I can't. So then I went to her site. She was sold out of everything. So then I had to pick the couple that I really like, but it was taking a while. So then I just did a Google search and I found one on, I forget the site, but I came back again when I seen her, I started following her on Instagram, Pink Lomain, Pink Lomain, like Lomain, L-O-M-E-I-N. Look up y'all, Instagram. And it's it's a lot of the African art. You know, she does bold colors real big with the hair and the makeup, everything. I love it. I love it. Um, but I found it. I, what happened, I like I said, I started following her. So then I was seeing where people saying, when it's going to be in this store? When it's going to be here? When it's going to be there? And she was just saying it's out, you know, try to get it. And like I said, I went to look at three, three or four stores the next day after I saw it on the video. And they didn't have it. And... I just said, well, maybe it'd be a better chance for me to get it off online. So what happened, I kept following her page and I went to her page and she was like, new prints are up. So first I was going to get um, it done on canvas, but canvas is more expensive. I think you all know that if you get a painting or something done on canvas and then they had the prints. I don't mind getting the print and buying a frame. You know, my Michaels, Michaels, <laughs> Hobby Lobby going to get frames person. So I got the, I got the um, print and I ordered it. So it's part of the whole bedroom experience when I get it all together. I'm not going to show y'all yet. Uh, so we got that. Um, I had my task rabbit guy. He came and hung my mirrors today. He did a really good job. He did some other things too. So, um, oh, I can show you one thing he did, y'all. You don't see the pictures right up there, don't y'all? He did that. Hold on. Oh, damn. 
Okay. Did he hung these pictures for me? Mm hmm. And I got these four pictures hung up. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to fall. He did these four pictures for me. And I put them up. These are the same four pictures. I know they may look different to you, but all I did is an old school thing that I used to do a long time ago when I lived in Alsip. I took, I had two pictures hung up in Alsip and I just turned them upside down. So on here, you'll see the dot at the bottom. Right there, you see the dot on the top. The dot's on the bottom. So he hung these for me. My task driver guy is Javier. And yeah, he did a good job. He did that. He did some stuff in my room, which my room is not going to be revealed yet because it's still a working process. But he did an excellent job. I got these frames from uh, Michael's. Uh, what happened was I was going to do them all in this size, this type of frame. But this frame is very delicate. And at the time I went to get these frames, I bought four. And I got home and I opened them up and I was trying to put the, the print in them. These are prints. I didn't buy these already like this. And this sucker cracked. When well, I'm trying to put the print in, it cracked the frame. So I was like, oh no. You know what? Since I had, I think I had three at the time. And I was going to go back and get a fourth one. So what happened? I went back. Um, I didn't, I didn't, the third one that I, that I tossed because it was cracked. I just bought one more of these. And then these were on sale. Because all in actuality, I wish I would have got four of these. I really like that frame, that strong black uh, bar behind it, thick frame behind it. But it's fine. And he he suggested how to hang them. And they look beautiful. They're very beautiful. So the living room is coming along, y'all. He, he does great work. I'll stand back so you can try to see uh, the whole thing. So you can see it there. And I like his placement. He was he asks, you know, how you want them, or he'll give suggestion or whatever. And y'all, what I'm gonna do with this sucker right here, I'm gonna get I want this to be higher. You know, I've seen it on different people's vlogs and stuff where uh it's tall. Sometimes they have a sitting and stuff, sometimes they don't. I don't know what they be doing, but I like the plant as it is. I ordered this. Where did I get this from? I got it from I got mine from Amazon. I know you can get them at Target, you can get them different places and stuff. Uh but I just changed out that, remember I told you all, see the gold, remember I showed you all that a while ago. But I noticed it leans when you mess with it, it leans one direction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit that sucker on a crate because I want some height to it. I want it up. I want to feel like I'm in a tropical paradise, even though I'm in the house. But <laughs> I want more height to it. I am short, yes, and it's about my height, five one. I want it taller than that. I want it to go up, you know. Don't mind the, the lamp back there. It's because the couch is in a crazy shape. But I want height on this. I love this plant. And I've like I said, I've seen it in people's, um, different people's videos. And it's much taller or whatever. But we're going to get some height to that. I don't care if I got to put some broke down shoes or something back there for it to lean on. And then you, it seems like as soon as you mess with it. Uh, I'm trying to get up here. It seems like as soon as you mess with it, like you try to twist it around. Sometimes it'll go back the other way. Um. Or whatever but this one is the plant in the bucket is actually leaning now and i put the little moss stuff in there i got from um old time pottery but i want height and you see see it's leaning you can tell the way it's moving around it's leaning but we're gonna get it together we're gonna get some height to it see it's short <laughs> like me but we're gonna get it together so like i said javier i take my hat off to you you did an excellent job dude task rabbit check them out y'all task rabbit I will give you this information. I'm not going to post it down below, um, but if you want it, let me know. I think he works in the Chicagoland, um, northern Hammett, northern Indiana area. I think he does both areas, but let me know if y'all want him. Y'all need him to do some work. Tell him Kay sent you. And um, I think that's going to be it for today, y'all. We got, a, got the little planner going. Like I said, I'm going to group that stuff together. Charlton Hester, you write me a love letter, baby. You wrote me a love letter, Charlton Hester. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Uh, thank you for sharing your time with me. We had a good time. I made my little planner. We got her, we got her together. We got her together. Look at her. You look cute. Don't you? We got her together. And now it's time to clean up, which you don't nobody want to never do. But Thank you for having time, spending your time with me. And um, I hope you all have a good week. Hope everybody's doing well. The name of my channel is It's Just K1. 
And it's I-T-Z-J-U-S-T-K-A-Y-1, the number one. And I want you all to be safe. Have a great week. Everybody have a great week. You know, work is tomorrow. You know what's coming. <laughs> but have a great week. Enjoy yourself, whether you're with your family or whatever you're doing. Have you making it. Be safe. Be careful. And take care of others as well as yourself. So I will be signing, I will be signing off now. I will wrap a taste with you later. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you to my new subscribers as well as the old ones. Shouting you out. Be safe, y'all. Take it easy.